This tutorial is about calculating the percentages of given money amounts uh, and we're going to explore a written method. There are lots of methods uh, to do these kinds of equations. I'm going to show you one um, and rather do than doing everything by hand, I am going to use a calculator for one part of it. Okay, so let's do this. 88% uh, of $52.50. One of the key things you have to know uh, is that the word of really means multiply. Okay, um, so if we know that, we can start to solve this. And one, one of the things we have to do is convert all the numbers um, into the same form. And we're going to use fractions. So 88%, well, percent means per 100 or out of 100. So of course, it means 88 out of 100. I've already said that of means to multiply. And then I just, I'm just going to not worry about this for now. I'm going to add this in at the very end. But 52, treat it like a decimal, 0 0.50. I have to include the zero because it's money. And then I put that over one. Okay. So it's a whole, it's a number I need to convert into a, into a fraction. And now once it is a fraction, all I need to do is follow the rules of multiplying a fraction, which is numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator. So I'll deal with the denominator first because it's the easiest. 100 times 1 is 100. And then 88 times 52.50, and that's 4,620. Okay, now that, now that I've reached this point, uh, that 4,620 is a whole number uh, when you use your calculator. And decimal point will go there because it's a whole number. Where are whole numbers in a decimal? Where are decimal points in a whole number? They are at the end of the number. Okay, they follow the units place. So now all I have to do is actually do what this says, which is 4,620. This fraction bar means divided by. So divided by 100. Now, when we divide by 100, it's relatively simple. Dividing by multiples of 10. Um, when we divide by multiples of 10. We just move the decimal point to the left, however many zeros there are in that multiple of 10 denominator. So in this case, the multiple of 10 is 100, and there are two zeros, so I need to move the decimal point two places. So it'll end up here. So the final answer becomes 46.20, include the zero because we're talking money. And that becomes the answer. Let's move on to number two. Number two is 2% 2 of $23. Okay, so 2% is 2 over 100 multiplied by 23. Put it over 1, so now we have two fractions that we can multiply. Multiply the denominator by the denominator to make 100, and in this case, numerator times numerator is quite simple, 46. Now, in this case, where is the denominator, where is the decimal point? Well, it's here. It's 46 is a whole number. So that means that the decimal point comes after the units place value. We're going to divide. So that means the decimal point will be moving towards the left. And that will effectively make 46 I have a smaller face value. I have a smaller total value too, for that matter. Um, and how many spaces or how many place values will the decimal point jump? Well, that depends on how many zeros there are in uh, the denominator if the denominator is a multiple of 10. In this case it is, it's 100. So one, two spaces. One, two spaces. And so that means the answer is 0.46. Now we're talking money. So this is 46 cents. So we should really put a zero there and indicate that it's money. Because it's money though, I could also just do this. 46 sense. So in this case, either answer would work. So that's the end of that short tutorial on how to find the percentages of given money amounts using a written method.